Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Midlife Crisis. You might have seen this car in the background of a couple of the other videos. This is my wife's 2021 C8 Corvette Stingray. It's a 2LT Z51 performance package. Well, we are going to surprise her with a series of what I think are the three modifications that every C8 owner should do when they first get their car. I'm just six months late in doing them, and uh, <laughs> I am. It, it really is. These are first things you should do. And so we're not going to tell you all of the modifications we're going to do, so you got to stay tuned through the entire video, but make sure you uh, subscribe, like this video, because I think we're going to get started on another Saga series of modifications on the C8 Corvette. We're a little bit late to the C8 game. That's okay. We're late blossomers bloomers bloomers yeah we're, we're just weird yeah we're, we're old yeah, guys we're just weird working on guys. a whole bunch of different cars and mm -hmm. so really no direction we're late to the c8 but we're still going to go through a whole series of modifications but these are the three modifications that you should do to protect your investment uh, that you just purchased so the first procrastination you need to do is these mods yes are these mods. yes and we will go through all the reasons why they're simple do do it yourself modifications so Stay tuned, sit back, relax, grab some popcorn, go grab your uncle, your aunt, whoever you need to uh, feel good about yourself. A lap dog, maybe? Oh, yeah, get your puppy. In. Get your puppy, a little lap dog or yeah. a kitty. Yeah. Exactly. Right. All right. right, let's get into it. So the first modification, the number one modification that we're going to do to the C8 Corvette is, for whatever reason, we, I, don't, I don't really know the reason, they do not put radiator guards and I, I know it's for airflow, right? They want to protect the airflow into the engine and all that? Nah. I, no. They probably, want you to replace the they radiator? They want you to replace it. And, okay. Yeah. So, as you can see on the left and the right, we've got these two radiators. They're already a little screwed up. That's why, like I said, I'm like six months late. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and install some very basic uh, metal mesh radiator grill guards, take you through the DIY uh, install. And that'll be the first of our modifications to the C8. I understand why they don't have grills. Why is that? They're like a mesh behind Why? It. Okay, sounds great because you don't want all of these inside of here. Okay. So I can imagine that this radiator is probably like in the $600 range, right? Okay. Now, if it came with the mesh and something were to hit it, like plastic bag, big something that would block the airflow, it could smack against it, starve it for air and traffic, and then you could possibly overheat the motor. Okay. So they have thought that through. I don't plan on running anything. Right now I'm planning on running into these little rocks that make the front of this look like crap. Right. Which would make me want to replace it anyways. So there's a lesser of two evils and GM went with the $600 Protecting radiator. the $20,000 engine versus yes. the $600 radiator. Yeah. Well, we're going to protect the $600 radiator. If nothing else, we'll make it look better from a close-up perspective. Uh, yeah. And show them how to install that little mesh grill that we got on eBay. All right. This is what we're doing. We're going to take these off, which are 7 millimeter bolts. Okay. Then we're going to come over here to these T15s and pop them off. Now, once we've done that, this will come out, slide out, and then these splash shields that run here, we'll also pull them from here and here, and then we'll allow it to come down. And that's just to get access to the bottom of the bumper without actually taking off the bumper. That's to get these big fat hands back there. That's okay. Right. All right, grab my plastic. This will be getting replaced soon. Yeah. Because I've uh, chewed it up a little bit. So, taking off the front splitter first. And Edward, what was that? This was all the Torx? Torx. T15s. T15s, got it. So those just pull out the sides? Yep. Okay. Hold on. What? Oh, wait. I have a whole tree back here. Is that a wire? Is that a wire? That would suck. <laughs> yeah. That would uh, suck a lot. There's a little bit of stuff in, in there. Here. Could you clean that? <laughs> you just got it in your hair. I mean, you didn't. It doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> All that matters is the grill needs to go on. Boom. That just comes out. I know. I like the way you said boom, and I just fought it for like 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, I really didn't fight. I really appreciate you cleaning out all this grass. Hey, man, you know, <laughs> it's beautiful. You are a full service friend. Yes. What did you hit? I don't know, but you're a friend with benefits. I really appreciate oh, it. Oh, wow. Yeah, exactly. We've gone there. We will be 
Getting something up in here. Here they go. Getting right up in there. Uh -huh. Oh, you can get your hand in there quite nicely. Wait, 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 wait. What? Turn the lights off. I'll make you some shadow puppets. No. Huh? You don't need to. Wait, little wait, ducky. Wait, wait. Little ducky. Wait, little ducky. Are you ready to show us how to put on the grill gods? First. The radiator gods. And you got this really cool hat. So I got Edward this really cool light headband by Delphi. I'll put a link down in the description below. Uh, it makes him look like Jordy LaForge from Star Trek. The next generation. <laughs> hey, this one's all peeled up here. Look at this. All right, we'll fix that. Oh, my God. Nope. We're going to need a frame machine. <laughs> a frame, machine. frame machine. Break out the L. Keep on. That's the salvage rebuilt That's the salvage metal mesh. Rebuild. Yeah, yeah, totally. Totally that. All right, so we, you got everything dropped, and what do you do? You just slide it in? You slide it in. Now, I don't know why this one's got the thing. We didn't have a problem with the other one. Huh. <coughs> Maybe there was a left and right, and you didn't pay attention? No. So you just slide it right underneath, and make sure that uh, you do not scrape up the radiator as you're pulling it in. Mm -hmm. So just take your time. See? What do you think? Interesting how that one right there has that little indent, right? Maybe we missed something. Let's go over here to the other side. I don't think we did. Mm. Ah, yes, look. What? Is that a sensor? Mm, no, it's not a sensor. What is that? Oh, that's what that uh, is. That's the handle mm -hmm. for the hood. Yep, yep, yep. We're stupid. I mean, we're not that stupid. I told you there was a left and a right. So all you do is you slide these in from the bottom. But if you'll notice that this side on the driver's side, there's a little slot. And that is for the hood opening right here. So that you can still get to that after you put the mesh radiator guard in. All right. So what we're doing now is we're going to uh, finesse. The word we're going to be using today is finesse. Not finagle? Not finagle. We finagled yesterday or the day before. Today we finesse. We're gonna finesse these in here. If you finagle too much, then what you're gonna find is you're gonna scrape up and scratch up all of your radiator fins. And guess what? That right there is a recipe for a bad time. One thing that you're gonna to wanna to remember What's is that? to get this particular portion up in and in front of your wires. Gotcha. Okay, because there's a sensor right there. And then the rest of this, Pull up, get to the point where you're going to need it. There we go. It's going to be somewhere around here. Somewhere around here. This is where we live. Right here. Right here. And now, mm -hmm. we need to get the first zip tie into the hardest location, right? Mm, yes. That's always a good thing. Uh, what I like to do is give you a little bit of a bend you're just trying to push those through the mesh holes as close together to get them around the outside mm -hmm. grill mm -hmm. now watch this you put that in there just in case you don't know at home zip her up okay now that you've zipped her up don't go too nuts okay gotcha now you're going to try to position it yeah but i want some more little zip ties put them in your mouth make them wet that's mm. always uh, nothing better than to put questionable Chinese products in your mouth when you're working on vehicles. Nothing better. Nothing better? No. I mean, there's other ways to go about it, but this is your winning technique. Once we've got to that point, let's make sure we are parallel. Line it up against the grill lines. Mm-hmm. Now, again, like we talked about before, we're doing the most crucial hardest to reach parts to the outers outside of the car closest to the fender mm -hmm. now after you get the outside ones done you go into the bottom but everything's still kind of loose right you haven't yeah. tightened everything up until the very end oh it's super loose yeah i'm not really tightening it i'm just i give it enough to where it'll hold itself and i can still make the line straight yep so that's the fun one you got to get your hand all the way up at the top mm-hmm I can't see what I'm doing, but I'm going to give it my best. I believe I need to go down one hole. You want to navigate me on this one? 
Uh, all I see is your finger. Yeah, you're too high. Go down one. There you go. Look at that. You fished good. Mm-hmm. That's right. I should have been on the bomb squad. All right, so now Edward is just trimming mm -hmm. all the ends off of the zip ties. Now, how many zip ties did you use total? So far, I've only used four. And so, kind of... You kind of put two more. So six total on each side. And kind of the way that Edward was showing me that to know how tight it needs to be is literally just press on it. If, if, if you got movement or whatever, then you probably need to tighten it up in that area. Yeah. And then Edward's using a small flat tip to move the head of the zip tie to the back of the mesh grill. That way it's hidden on the downside of the vent. But don't slip. We have got modification number one done. So this is a must do for any C8 owner to protect those front radiators. Now, I will find out in the summer if this was a mistake and the car overheats, but that is a risk that we're going to take. Yes, yes. But I do think that the black, instead of seeing the cracked up, you know, crack attic radiators with all the rock chips, it looks a lot better. So it kind of just has that black look all the way across the front with the the carbon flash black what do you think edward do you think it looks better did you just say crack attic yeah it's the crack at the, what it looks like in the crack attic uh, radiator crack, crack attic yeah okay okay i get you I feel all like. right no i do think it looks much better It says where to put these things, but I Edward, you look perplexed. It. I am perplexed, man. It looks like uh, we're going to be kind of lost on this one. So those are the mesh guards mm -hmm. from Paragon Performance that we are going to put on the side air intakes and protect those. Cool. Edward will figure it out. He's got the brain and a noggin. Edward is ready to take us through our second modification. Yes. We cannot let seagulls, according to Edward, get into there. All right, guys, so what we're doing here is we are going to want to create this bracket. Yeah. So the way we're going to do so is we're going to push this on. Okay. And okay. that is going to be here. Okay. Simple enough. Now we're going to take this one. You're going to find that this isn't going to line up exactly the way you want it to. But in the end, it's you want it flexible and bendy. And that one's actually going on to the... The bolt. The bolt. Okay. And we'll show you where the bolt is. Now, anytime you're going to put one of these on, make sure you squashed it down completely. Okay. That way, you know, and once you clip it onto that plastic, like you saw earlier, mm -hmm. it's going to work. So it's going to be just like that. So what we're going to do is... And it's a little hard to see, but... It's very hard to see. Why don't you look down in there and look for that bolt? Show the people at home. Yep, show the, the folks bolt. at home. There is a there is the bolt right there. All see right. that, everybody? And what kind of torques is that? The T15. T15. Damn. Got okay. it out. Okay. So our next bet is going to be <clears throat> running this in. And of course, you never want to just run something down with a tool. So we're not going to do that. See that? Yeah, it makes a bang, bang, bang. It's an E flat. <laughs> For the music majors at home. And then another thing that we're going to do is, okay, so this is going to be here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain okay. before we put together. This will be here. So bolt in right here. Okay. Okay. This will bolt in right here. Gotcha. This piece will have double-sided tape on this side. This piece will have double-sided tape on this side and loop around here. Gotcha. So before we do any of this stuff. We got to clean that thing out. We got to clean this out. So yeah. this is akin to a really microfiber cloth Q-chip. Yeah. Pretty yeah, much. you're gonna pretty much. So a little bit of a little bit of alcohol. Mm -hmm. Get a, don't be afraid to use a little bit. Don't be afraid to use a lot of it. A lot of it. Gotcha. Don't be afraid to use any of it. Man. So you're gonna prep the surfaces on the grill as well as the car, right? Yes, because again, like I said, we are prep the grill first. The grill's clean. Gotcha. We can vouch for the grill. Okay. Then we're also gonna prep a little bit right here. That's gonna get a little double-sided tape. 
Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go inside of here and inside of here, back side. Get all the earwax out. Earwax, yeah. It does quite feel like we're digging around <clears throat> in an ear, aren't we? All right, and then the next one is going to be right up in this area between, can you see that? There's two vents. This obviously needs a set between the two vents. So we're gonna clean right between those two ears. Gotcha. Really well. And and the broader, you know, you just give it quite a bit of, of cleanliness all the way around you there. You can't spend too much time. No, you just gotta really just keep it going. So it comes with some double-sided tape. We're just using the 3M VHB tape that came from the Paragon Performance kit. And then just take an exacto knife, cut it to the size that you need it to be. Very sticky stuff. <laughs> Very sticky stuff. Mm -hmm. Anytime you stick down double-sided tape, remember I always said like to wiggle it. Yep, press it a little bit. Mm -hmm. There you can see with the light, it just sitting there pressed on the inside. And now that double-sided tape is actually going on the flanges of the grill. Right. And these actually are cut to size already from the Paragon Performance Kit. Pretty cool. It's like they knew. Now, don't stick it on the inside. Stick it all the way to the edge because it will, you're going to get a little bit of gap right here showing. Gotcha. Which isn't the most terrible thing. This is where it gets real fun, kids. You're going in. Yep. You're finding your angle, grabbing it from the top. And just press it in the sides of the double sided tape. All right. Let's put a little pressure on that. How does that feel? Oh, that ain't going nowhere. It is in there good. Famous we are last words. We, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so again, we restricted the airflow. No. I no, you don't think that one restricted no. the airflow? That one's probably more needed than the front one. You is. can never go without too much pigeon protection. Modification number two down. You have any idea what number three is? No, you didn't tell me. We're gonna have to lower it. Oh man.